and welcome back to another Mochi shifting video. You probably might be already, but we're not in Central Europe anymore. We're actually in the south of France, in Santa Fe to be more precise. And as you can probably hear already, it's gardening day today, so it's a bit loud, so I'm sorry for that. But yeah, initially I only wanted to make some holidays here with my family and Ulle and Celine, obviously. But it's so beautiful here, I'm getting such hard summer vibes, and there's actually some pretty cool roads here. So why not just make a video as well? What do we have here? We have my M3, which you already know from the last videos. I'm sorry that there's so much E80 content in the last time, but yeah, my E90 is still broken. Because this is Ulle's CD3S. He doesn't want people to know that it's his, but Ulle, honestly, everybody knows it's your car. <laughs> On Instagram, he's just pretending like he rented the car, but <laughs> he bought it a few weeks ago because he's waiting for a 992 GT3S. What's the plan today? We're gonna go into the city really quick because I need some sunglasses because I don't have any sunglasses apart from these ones yeah. here. That's actually a really good opportunity because then I can also show you the city really quick. Afterwards, I kind of want to drive into Col de Bonnet, I think it's called. It's like a really high mountain and it's one of the highest mountain roads in the world. So that's going to be pretty cool. We, and maybe Ole is going to join us with this GT3S. And after that, there's some really beautiful uh, flower fields here, which we might be able to check out. Hopefully, we'll see how late it's going to get. This is the beautiful house we rented. I'm gonna give you a house tour later because right now everybody's sleeping at the pool so it will be a bit awkward to go out there and film. <laughs> but it's really beautiful, you have to see it later honestly. I mean the view from here already is crazy. So maybe I can just do this and then we skip forward a few hours and I'm gonna give you a house tour and then we come back here. So... And I kind of feel like we're in an episode of MTV Cribs. I don't have a key. I'm Sheepman and welcome to my crib. Ah. Hello. Hi. This is Feli, by the way. Here's my Schwager and Sanne. Hi. Ulle, dein GT3 haben wir ja schon gezeigt. Ah, super. Yeah, you can see the, the best part of the house. And the beautiful view. Yeah, it's a bit awkward, but still. Yeah, our breakfast table. Yeah, here's the beautiful panoramic view. Back like there, you can see Santa Fe over here. Uh, this is the sea basically, but it's pretty rough today because it's a bit windy. This was the shortest house tour in existence of <laughs> mankind. Come with me really quick because we have some pretty cool. Yeah, cool. This is pretty cool as you can jump into the pool here yeah. and then see everybody who's swimming inside the pool. But nobody has used the pool so far, so I don't know. <laughs> this is a um, secret massage back room. I don't know, it's giving <laughs> pretty crazy vibes. This is pretty cool. Then we have a chill area here in the next box, which I didn't use, but maybe we can do that. And yeah, even more beautiful views here. Yeah. So let's go to the city and get myself some sunglasses and show you around Santa Fe. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's coming with us to the city. Yeah, super ready. Oder ist jetzt sehr Auto oder nicht? Sam. Ja. Okay, so now we confirmed it's actually Oder's GT3. Beautiful. So, congrats, congratulations to your new GT3 Oder. Thank you. Ah, yeah, so let's go. One thing I should probably tell you about Santa Fe though is it's probably the worst uh, area where you can take a lot of car to because yeah, you people here in south of France really love those speed bumps. I can't tell you how many times I already bought it out and it's already only my second day here, so... <laughs> no better way than to cruise around in Santa Fe with 50 fucking cent. First speed bump. <laughs> it's terrible here, I tell you guys. Yeah. I kind of already have a feeling I'm not gonna make it home with my phone split there here. It's so terrible. I initially wanted to come with my TRX, which would have been a pretty good choice considering the speed bumps. But the problem with the TRX is the roads here are so tight, especially in Santa Fe, which you're gonna see in a minute. I don't think it would have been any better, honestly. I think the best thing to do around Santa Fe is just go rent a scooter and just drive scooter somewhere. Because also traffic is really, really bad in Santa Fe. You have a lot of traffic jams, so if you have a scooter, you can just scoot past everybody. We're driving into the central of Santa Fe right now, and honestly, I mean, just look at it. It's, yes, it's very expensive, but honestly, it's such a beautiful place here. Just a few. With the Miami head. Yeah. 
also we're coming back to Florida in a few months, I guess. So can't wait for that. I loved it there last year. But this feels a bit like it. The weather is pretty similar. The only yeah. thing is that there's way too many people speaking French and not English. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go drive through Santa Pere really quick, and then I'm gonna show you the marina of Santa Pere because that's where all the big, huge boats are. This is the city center, I think. I'm not quite sure. It is. We are just proper tourists, honestly. I look yeah. like the biggest tourist ever with my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> here on this street are pretty much all the clubs, the nightclubs here that you go to, I think. Um, I think the one is over there. I can't really tell you much about anything else apart from where to drink and where to eat, so sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, here is the city center, or this is like the, the marketplace, I think. On every Tuesday and Saturday they have like many shops here and where you can buy fruits and vegetables and stuff. Right now it's Wednesday, so they don't have that here. But still very beautiful Saturday. to look at. Also, good for Celine is just the shopping boulevard basically where all the shops and all the tourist attractions are. That's just so cool here. Yeah. I mean, look at those beautiful buildings. Uh, this is proper Santa Fe vibes here. I love it here, honestly. That's a bit sketchy here. We had a rental Lamborghini like three years ago here with Ulle and we cropped the wheel so many times here at the, at the street. But just look how cool it is to drive through here. This is where we curved the Lamborghini like wheels three years ago. Oh my oh, god! Is this? Actually, but it's good today. So Just cute. very tight. I think now you know why I didn't want to bring the TRX. Let's see how well it does it. This is where all the good restaurants are, or like the tourist restaurants actually. But they're still pretty good. So, and this is where all the boats are, as you can see. Yeah. to say anything but my cocaine spec M3 is fitting in perfectly here in Santa yeah. Fe. And you also fit. <laughs> the boats here are just completely insane. I'm not a big fan of boats but I have to say that's just completely crazy here. Oh <laughs> we're going we're just taking pictures. Salut. Only picture. We go. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> More pictures. So, it's your car? Yeah, we go. Uh, only picture. Yeah. Now? Yeah, picture. You go now? Yeah, picture. <laughs> uh, the French police officer or like traffic officer doesn't really want us standing. Bad boy. Time to go. Yeah, this is the Playa de Pompeo or something like that. This area here is where all the beach clubs are. So you have Nikki Beach, you have Nunu, you have Club 55 where we're gonna go eat something now. Uh, and so during the day you come here basically and you just have good food and uh, have something to drink and you have a good time next to the beach. But that's actually pretty cool but you don't really need it every day unless you're a Ole and you need it every yeah. day. Plage de Pampalone. Pampalone. And that's is where all the beach clubs are like I said. If you're stupid like us go there with your car because <laughs> it's really dusty and sandy there so we're probably gonna get our cars yeah. back covered in sand and dust. So if you're even more stupid than us you go there with the car really so you have sand on the inside as well <laughs> like this guy in front of us. <laughs> no. But yeah here's club 55, Lake Loop 55 whatever that means. And if you're a car spotter you can come down here as well. Yeah. Yeah so I see you guys after we have something to eat here. With my dusty SM3 probably. Later. Yeah, so we had some nice food now. A little change of plans though. I'm not gonna be able to get my sunglasses. I'm gonna go back to house now. And we're gonna have a shooting there with my new merch. Which is probably already out by the time this video comes out. But yeah, we're gonna take the pictures there. And then afterwards we're gonna go ahead into the mountains. And yeah, see what the day has to offer to us. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello. We just took a little detour from our way to the mountain to look at some flowers because uh, south of France is actually really known for its beautiful lavender fields so of course I had to drive there since it was only two hours of driving to see some fucking flowers why did that drive here with you? it's really this is some fucking bullshit a few moments later if you ever wonder what my m3 looks like next to a lavender field or lavender field whatever i have to admit though it's pretty beautiful are you happy now yeah. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Amazing. Actually, really quick, because I want to know what kind of flower this is. I have an app for my grandma because she. Oh, my grandma just texted me. Wait. My grandma never texts me. She sent me some flowers. Aww. Let's send her some flowers yeah. as well, actually. Hello, Omi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, what kind of flower is this? Because I have an app. Yeah. I should take a picture. You also of it. paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> Muscatella. Muscat Muscatella Saibai. Yeah, so it's not. Saibai. It's not lavender like we thought. But it's beautiful. Funny thing is, if I take a selfie, what kind of flower does it think I am? I'm a poor girl. <laughs> now we continue our journey. Now we're gonna go to the mountain now. <laughs> really quick. I don't think I've ever seen a lake this blue before in my entire life. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at this. <laughs> you can see it even better from up here. Although I have no idea how to get down here, but that's just beautiful. <sighs> Let's go. And if you're probably wondering why I'm not just driving right here in Santa Fe, the roads are pretty nice here, I have to say, but during the day it's just so much traffic that you can't really do anything. So we're driving a bit more inwards now, and maybe later in the evening, maybe we can do one more road here in Santa Fe. We'll see how motivated we are. We're gonna pick up a friend of mine, uh, Lars. We never really met each other, but he's living in Nice now with a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, we've been texting each other for like six or seven years now, so yeah. He's actually from Sweden. Ah, he's not from Sweden. He's actually from Netherlands. <laughs> That's how he is. But I always thought he's from Sweden for some reason. So yeah, Lars from Sweden. If you see this, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's now a bit later. We are driving up to Col de la Bonette, which is Europe's highest mountain road, which is going to be very interesting, I think. I saw many pictures of it already online, and some of you guys from France sent me videos telling me I should go there. So thank you to everybody on Instagram who told me to go there. <laughs> this is also some of the new merch, but I think you saw that in Andre's video already.
back in Austria. And that's the highest road in Europe. Can you imagine it? Ah, it's not too bad. Those corners down there, they're crazy. I think we need to get some outside shots from them because you can link them really nicely. Why are there so many houses here? Yeah, military base. Military base? Yeah. Well, not anymore. No. <laughs> Honestly, it's crazy. We were in Saint Tropez like a few hours ago and it was such a different vibe than to compare where we are right now. But that road, let me tell you, it's the craziest road I've probably been to. That is fucking amazing. I can't wait to see how it is back up there. But we need to get some outside shots now from that because that section was completely insane. For all my history lovers, these are les fortifications to call the fortress. And they basically look like this. They're really ancient. Now I'm standing here with my M3. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Oh, you can see some sheep. <laughs> Bro, it's so beautiful. What the fuck is going on here? What happens if you say one last try? But we are good. <laughs> Let's not do this again. <laughs> yeah, I did some small off-roading there, I guess. <laughs> 
move on to a different location because I don't want this corner anymore. It's starting to rain here and I don't really yeah. want to drive in the rain. Next thing is I have to be a bit careful because there's rocks all the time on the road here. And this is oh I don't think it's so wet on the Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to go down there. What a <laughs> monkey! <laughs> Oh, this view is incredible, I have to say. It's one of the most beautiful roads I've ever been to. Kind of looks like we're on the moon, if you look to the right. Yeah. <laughs> what does Barrier Route mean? I don't know. Probably means road closed, if I think about it. Oh yeah, because there's a fucking avalanche in the middle of the road. Uh, That's probably why it's oh. Barrier Route. Yeah, so this is as high as we can get, but the road doesn't really continue that much anymore. It's like around this corner, then the road is over anyway. It's coming back down and it's connecting over here. But here's an avalanche, so kind of can't go through that, I guess. <laughs> if you're ever in France, you should probably go visit this road. Or like if you're in Saint-Tropez. This is as high as we can get. I think there's like 2,900 meters above sea level, which is pretty high, I would say. I'm gonna go drive back down now. And like I said, maybe we can go to one of those ready roads. We'll see. Otherwise, we're gonna go drive back to San Jose. Kind of want to drive onto the beach. <laughs> yeah, it started to rain a little bit, so maybe we can at least give you a few outside shots of the rain now. <laughs> Moments later. Welcome back. I dressed up like the third time this video, like the fourth time, I don't really know. I lost count. We are heading back down into Saint Tropez to take some pictures and also to go eat something once again. And afterwards, maybe I can find another little road here, which is not as busy as the main roads, or we go to the beach. We'll see. Give us a few minutes, we'll be right back with you after we've eaten something. So, yeah, we just had some really delicious food steak and pizza. And now we have a bit of a tight schedule because actually I wanted to go to the beach But turns out we have to take some pictures of my M3 because I didn't take any pictures yet And it's actually getting picked up tomorrow because I organize a transport who brings me my T-Rex and picks up the M3 back home Because yeah, you saw it, the speed bumps here and the roads in general in Santa Fe are really really bad And it's just not a lot of fun driving around the M3 here So I called the transporter, he's on the way now with my T-Rex <laughs> So tomorrow, uh, 9 in the morning, my M3 gets sent back home and I switch to the T-Rex, which is actually a good thing, I guess. Let's see if we can take some pictures and then we go to the beach. We just found a really nice spot to park and film. The only problem is... <laughs> so I got Celine to film, but I think we all know what I have to do here really quick. <laughs> this is just... I always wanted to do this, so I'm sorry guys from Santa Fe if you see this, but... Just can't resist. I think... Okay, I thought that would be a bit cooler, but my car is full of shit and also I lost my front splitter. <laughs> uh, I'm such a fucking idiot. Bye bye. No, I don't yeah, scrape anymore. What the yeah. fuck? Der fragt, ob wir Kokain wollen. Yeah, the cocaine is definitely something else, I tell you guys. Too much downforce for the performance splitter. The R44 performance. You see this, please send me another splitter. So one of the guys who I was texting, who gave me the tip with the road, just 
randomly came up here with his E30. Hey man! Hey! <laughs> so actually, it kind of looks like we can drive onto the beach here. Yeah. I just hope we make it back up. But the bad news is, which I just got, the transporter which was supposed to transport my T-Rex, he broke down. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Uh, I really wanted my T-Rex down here, but I lost the lip on my M3 anyway, so what else do I have to lose? Very romantic. Yeah. And also the E30 of the French guys with us. So if we get stuck, we at least have somebody who can pull us out. I'm not gonna do a donut here, if you think that. No. It's not a good idea. <laughs> we're not doing it. <laughs> End this video here, I guess. I hope you guys had fun watching me do my stupid shit here in Saint Tropez. Have some good old summer wipes. We're gonna enjoy our vacation now a little bit and I'm actually coming back very soon. So stay tuned for that. With a car which is even worse for speed bumps than the M3. Several days later. So actually, this is not the end of the video because I met some French people who are over here and they showed me some very beautiful roads here, which I honestly can't resist sliding. So we're gonna do that now. See it as kind of a bonus footage for you guys. And also we have two new passengers randomly today with Logan and Georgie. <laughs> Georgie is our bartender of trust in Kitzbühel. <laughs> and you actually might know Logan from some of the videos in LA. He used to drive around with his M3, so yeah. Welcome to Europe, <laughs> I guess. <Thank> you. <laughs> Let's get to sliding. <laughs> Sketchy. Georgie died a little oh, bit. I think so too. I think <laughs> I shit my pants. Yeah. Tell me, uh, I think police come. Okay, we uh, hide. We're going to the second spot. Okay. Police is coming. So, police is coming. Which means that we leave this place. <laughs> Collect everybody and leave. Yeah, so we're gonna go to the second spot now. Uh, we kind of evaded the police, I guess. Or they didn't come, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what the second spot is. So we arrived at the second spot, it's really beautiful here. The sun is going down already. Yeah, the spot is pretty nice, I have to say. Southern France is so beautiful. I'm gonna slide this road and then we're good to go, I guess. <laughs>
guy in the E30 also wants to slide a little bit, so I'm gonna watch him now, I guess. French people are crazy, I tell you guys. <laughs> He's actually really good though, that was crazy. That was a really crazy entry to the corner. <laughs> I don't know if my car is parked really good there though. I think we should probably go. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they told, they told yeah, it's me. Okay, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I think uh, this is a good spot to end the video here. Finally, this time for real. Uh, we made a pretty sick edit at the end because we filmed lots of stuff. Trying to catch the vibe of San Tropez a little bit because honestly, this city has such a good vibe and I think the edit is gonna kind of reflect that in a good way. This place is absolute heaven. And I really love it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna see each other in the next one and I hope you had fun. I certainly did. That was a really nice week here. We're actually gonna come back here very soon with my Viper. Let's see how that goes over the speed bumps. <laughs>